sun-killed parents to collect life insurance. Viewer discretion is advised as the details of this story may be disturbing to some audiences. In a courtroom in Knoxville, Tennessee, the trial is underway for 32-year-old Joel Guy Jr., who stands accused of a heinous crime that shocked the community to its core. The charges against him include two counts of first-degree murder and brutal killings in this memberment of his own parents, Joel Guy Sr. and his wife Lisa. The details of this case are not for the faint of heart. The prosecution alleges that Joel Guy Jr. planned and executed a gruesome attack on his parents, taking their lives in a manner that can only be described as pure evil or overkill. What could lead someone to commit such an unspeakable act against the same people that brought him into this world? As the trial unfolds, the evidence presented will shed light on the events leading up to the murders and the motive behind them as well. The testimony of witnesses, forensic experts, and investigators will paint a chilling picture of a son who turned on his own flesh and blood. Stay tuned for more updates on the disturbing case as the trial continues. The quest for justice for Joel Guy Sr. and Lisa Guy will be a long and painful journey, but their memories deserve nothing less. The Monday following the Thanksgiving weekend, Lisa Guy failed to report a work, prompting concern for her employer who contacted local law enforcement. Upon arriving at the Guy family home in Knoxville, Tennessee, officers made a grisly discovery. The remains of Lisa and her husband Joel Sr. were found inside. Both had suffered over 30 stab wounds and had been dismembered. As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that their son, Joel Guy Sr., was the primary suspect in the case. The 28-year-old had spent the holiday weekend with his parents and made purchases on his father's credit card following the murders. It was revealed that Joel Sr. and Lisa had been supporting their son financially for a number of years, but it recently informed him that they would be cutting off his financial support. Authorities speculated that Guy's parents' decision may have been emoted for the brutal attack, with the son potentially seeking to cash in on his parents' life insurance policy. However, the exact reasoning behind the murders has yet to be fully determined, and the trial would likely shed further light on the horrific crime. The brutal murder of Joel Sr. and Lisa Guy has left the community reeling, and loved ones struggling with profound grief. As the legal process unfolds, the search for justice and closure continues. Joel Guy Jr. faced charges of first-degree premeditated murder and abuse of two corpses, to which he pleaded not guilty. During the trial, the prosecution presented a disturbing picture of the crime scene, describing in graphic detail the viciousness of the attacks and Guy's apparent attempt to eliminate any evidence. The defendant sat in court listening to the gruesome account of his alleged actions including the use of a corrosive substance to liquefy his parents' remains. The jury was shown surveillance footage of Guy with a hand wound, purchasing products that appear to be related to the disposal of the bodies. However, perhaps the most incriminating piece of evidence was a notebook found in Guy's possession that contained written experts outlining his plan, including references to get plastic sheeting for disposal process and the expectation of receiving a $500,000 payout. The chilling details of this case have left many in shock and disbelief. The prosecution case against Guy appears to be strong and the evidence presented thus far paints a damning picture of a son who allegedly plotted and executed the brutal murder of his own parents. As the trial continues, the search for answers and justice for Joel Sr. and Lisa Guy remains at the forefront of the midst of all those cases involved, of all those involved in the case. Following a thorough examination of the evidence and hearing testimony from numerous witnesses, the jury in the trial of Joel Michael Guy reached a unanimous decision. In a solemn moment, a juror read out the verdict for each account. We, the jury, find the defendant, Joel Michael Guy, guilty of first degree premeditated murder of Joel Guy Sr., count number two, please. We, the jury, find the defendant, Joel Michael Guy, guilty of first degree premeditated murder of Lisa Guy. The verdict offers some solace to the family and loved ones of Joel Sr. and Lisa Guy, though the defendant may face further punishment in the sentencing phase of the trial. In the lead up to the sentencing, family members of the victims were given the opportunity to provide impact statements. The words were powerful and emotional, serving as a reminder of the terrible tragedy that had befallen upon their family. Lisa's brother spoke of the devastating loss that they had all experienced, saying that the next day, after we buried Joel and Lisa, my mother died. She truly died of a broken heart. The impact of this crime is notorious. We will never, ever be the same. During the impact statement, the half-sister of Joel Guy Jr. provided a heart-wrenching account of the crime's profound impact on her family, saying, I am Joel and Lisa's daughter. You'll never know what it's like to have to tell your children that their grandparents have been chopped up and put into acid. 
Her words shed light onto the devastating consequences of Guy Jr.'s actions, not just for the victims themselves, but for their loved ones as well. Finally, it was the judge's turn to speak. Judge Steve Sword, visibly affected by the horrific nature of the crime, described it as the most extreme form of abuse of a corpse he had ever seen in his 25 years on the bench. He spoke of the lack of remorse displaying by Joel Guy Jr. throughout the trial, saying, quite frankly, Mr. Guy, you look like you were kind of proud of what you accomplished. I don't see any potential for rehabilitation for you. The judge's words echo the sentiment of many, that justice may be served for the victims and their loved ones as well. After being found guilty of the murder and dismemberment of his parents, Joel Guy Jr. has been sentenced to two consecutive life sentences, with an additional four years for the mistreatment of their remains. The sentencing brings a measure of closure to the family and loved ones of the victims, as justice has been served for the brutal crime, a senseless and senseless loss of two beloved individuals and devastating impact is had on their community. The severity of the sentence reflects the gravity of the crime and is intended to bring some measure of justice and closure to the family and loved ones of the victims. While nothing can undo the horrors that were inflicted upon Joel and Lisa Guy, the sentencing serves as a reminder that such atrocities will not be tolerated in our society.